So you're either an engineer studying engineering or thinking about studying engineering and wondering what classes you should take. If you're not one of these, then uh, I don't know, but this video is for you. So today, like I said, I will be going over a tier list of every class that I've taken throughout my time as a mechanical engineer studying at University of Wisconsin-Madison. I am currently a senior, so I have taken almost every single basic engineering slash mechanical engineering course that is available, but there is still a few specific classes that I've not taken that only apply towards University of Wisconsin-Madison. I also want to preface this list as this is fully my opinion. These are only classes that apply to the University of Wisconsin-Madison mechanical engineering, so don't take my word for any mechanical engineering courses or majors at other schools. This only truly applies to Madison. So let's start off with this list. I will be going kind of in order with the classes that I took in my progression throughout the years. To start off, I have my Intro to Mechanical Engineering, ME201. I'm going to rank this actually at A tier. I know it's super high, but it deserves to be up there because it was a very hands-on class in which I was exposed to all facets of engineering before I even had the knowledge and it really made me sure of my choice to proceed with mechanical engineering as a major. The next class that I'm going to rank is Calculus 2. Oh, I'm sorry this goes to C tier. It was a hard class and it's not really that applicable to um, real world stuff, jobs, internships. It is necessary for classes later on, but it just kind of wasn't my class. Next we have General Chemistry 3 straight to D tier. This class blew. It was super, super hard, overly hard. At University of Wisconsin-Madison, it's a weed out class. It is brutal, not good, low ranking, harder than it should be, and I will never use that information, I don't think at least. Next, I am going to rank Calculus 3. Straight in with C tier next to Calculus 2. This class was not my jam. It was too hard for what it was. Let's uh, let's go over to dynamics. So dynamics is actually the upgrade of statics. Statics is later on in this list, but I'm gonna put this in B tier. Very long problems, super interesting class, but it's not that applicable to real life. But it is definitely good information to know. Now let's go on to intro to coding, where I took Python. This class was amazing. Um, it was super interesting. I learned a lot. I learned a lot about coding and specifically Python. So I'm going to put it into A tier because I believe it is super applicable to real life. Next we have linear algebra and differential equations. Linear algebra and differential equations I'm actually going to put into F tier. This class was not good at all. I don't find it applicable to real life or any other facet of engineering. Obviously there are certain uses, but so thin and far between and going through the effort of learning linear algebra differential equations is not worth it, but you still have to do it. Next we have um, material science. I had a bad professor for this class. It is super applicable though, only to interviews. So if it was based on my experience, it's going in F, but because material science questions are asked on so many interviews. It feels like almost every interview a material science question is asked, specifically about like the stress strain curves. I have to put it in A tier because you will be asked it. You do need to know it even though it sucks. Next I have intro to geometric modeling. It's going to go into B tier because it's very applicable. It definitely gives you the background knowledge to design work but it was a very boring class. It's where you learn GD and T and basic drawing techniques that will help you in design work, but it's not the actual design work. It's not as fun. Let's go to ME306, which is mechanics of materials. Sorry if I made that mistake earlier. This is going in S tier. Great class, awesome questions on the tests, the homework. They're very long form questions that are very linear in the progression that you work through them. 
and it is asked on interviews. It is definitely important for interview questions and even real life scenarios where you need to calculate beam bending or just basic stresses, I guess. And it is asked on questions all the time. I actually got asked a basic mechanics of material question on my Tesla interview and I got it wrong. So pay attention to that class. Next we have intro to computer aided design straight to S tier. Has to be S tier. Uh, at Madison we use SolidWorks and this class we learn a lot about using SolidWorks and actually creating parts and assemblies with this. Super applicable. It goes straight onto the resume for getting your first internship and it is the baseline for almost all mechanical engineering. Now we finally have statics. Even though we did dynamics earlier, I'm just going through the list as it comes up. Uh, statics is the stationary version of dynamics. It's a lot with vectors and forces that are all static. I didn't like this class. I found it very similar to physics that you take in high school and I found it quite boring. So I'm gonna put it into the C list, but it is super applicable, not in internships or tests, but it is needed for almost every other class after it, which is why it does go to C tier. Next, we have thermodynamics. This class is gonna go into A. I really loved the class. I found it fascinating. The questions are super interesting, long form questions, but it doesn't go in S tier just because it's not super applicable to everything in mechanical engineering. Even though I love it, I've never been asked a question about thermodynamics on any interview question, and I've never had to use it in work so far. So that's why I have to put it there. But a lot of people do use it. Ooh, here's a big one, it's physics electric and magnetism, straight to D tier. I dislike this class. It's so unbelievably conceptual. It's almost as conceptual as linear algebra and differential equations. It's super hard to visualize anything that happens in that class because it's electric and magnetism. You can't see those things. So as a mechanical engineer, I found it very boring. And the class at Madison is not a very well taught class as the tests are fully based off of memorizing equations and I barely learned anything from it. So it goes in D tier. Some people may like it if you go to a different school, but this is my experience. Now we have intro to statistics, straight to F tier. At Madison, intro to statistics for engineers is a fully coding class. It's all about using the coding program R, which is almost completely useless outside of this class because very few companies actually use it in real world application. And the actual statistics that you learn is very similar to a high school level, except with coding on top, but it uses a coding platform language that I will never use. Straight to F tier, pointless. Circuits, <sighs> one of my least favorite classes, but it is definitely applicable. So I have to put it in B tier. Knowing the basics to circuits is super important because it comes up with almost all projects that involve electricity and mechanical engineers have to know that stuff, but I really hated it. It was so conceptual and the questions are not my style of questions. I like long work through questions. These are fast boom, boom, boom questions. Not my thing. Ooh. Here's a big one. This is manufacturing, metals, and automation. I'm gonna put this class into B tier. I took this class in Singapore, so I didn't get the actual lab class. It was an all online class. At Singapore, it wasn't very good, but knowing the basics to manufacturing is super important. DFM is something that you can't avoid or not know about in mechanical engineering, especially with design work, which is what a lot of mechanical engineering is. It's so important because being a good designer is one thing, but designing things that can be made is another. Manufacturing is important. Next we have heat transfer. I'm actually gonna put this class into A tier. I really loved it. It's super interesting, long form questions that are very linear in the way that you solve them. And every question is different. And I actually have been asked questions about heat transfer on interviews. So I will put it pretty high up on the list. However, it's not gonna go in S tier because it's maybe not as applicable to work as some of the other classes, such as mechanics and materials or computer aided design, because it doesn't come up every single day. Next, we have controls. I love controls, I'm not gonna lie. I really like that class, but it's going straight into C because it's not the most applicable class due to the fact that 
you only use it within mechatronics and electronics, which is not necessarily the biggest thing that mechanical engineers are studying for or planning to go into for the work. Now we have design of machined elements. This is an important class. I've never been asked interview questions on it and I've never had to use it in work life, but it is definitely something that comes up in most mechanical engineers work within the real world. So I'm gonna put it in B, but at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, I had an awful teacher and it kind of ruined the class for me. I didn't learn that much, but I still have to put it in B because it's important. Next we have fluids, fluid dynamics actually. This class, I actually really enjoyed. Even though I didn't do good in it, I definitely enjoyed it. It was super fun, but I can't rank it that high because I don't know when I will personally use it. So I'm gonna put it in B tier. For a lot of mechanical engineering, it is important, especially if you go into maybe HVAC or any aerospace facet of engineering, you will definitely need to know fluids. But it's not a question that you get asked on interviews very commonly and it doesn't apply to all facets of engineering. So it goes into B. And finally, we have dynamic systems. I'm gonna put this class into C tier. It was one of my favorite classes, actually. I thoroughly enjoyed it. The tests were amazing. The content's super linear in the way of thinking and um, approaching problems. But man, it's just not applicable to so much of mechanical engineering, you really have to be into a niche where you're using it such as mechatronics. So I have to rank it kind of low. But that sums up every single class that I've taken as a mechanical engineer studying at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. And if I had to pick one that was my favorite out of all classes, I'm going thermodynamics. This was my favorite class. Even though it's not the most applicable, it was my favorite class. And my least favorite class is going to have to be linear algebra and differential equations because this class was awful, simply put. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you are aspiring engineers or currently studying engineering in college, give me a follow because I will be going over all things engineering such as resumes, interviews, internships, everything. So give me a follow. Catch you next one.